Hello and welcome to uh, my review of the Art of Boy Mini. Um, it's a project of mine that I created, gosh, almost five years ago. And was able to finally launch it on Kickstarter. And just here recently we've had them received from our sponsor PCB Way. And so I wanted to review the platform and give my thoughts on my experience and everything else like that. So this is it. Uh, if you're not familiar, the Art of Boy is a open source gaming platform the size of a credit card. And this one has been in production uh, for almost 10 years now. But this is a smaller version. It's the same hardware, uh, but it's designed to be, uh, well, smaller. Uh, cheaper and easier uh, for people to access the hardware because uh, it doesn't require the injection molded plastic or the battery or anything else like that and it uses a smaller screen so if all you want to do is get access to some fun little 8-bit video games then this is kind of the quickest way to do it and it also allows you to access the programming pins, and learn a little bit about the circuit board. So that's what I thought I'd show you a little bit today. Um, kind of a tour of the backside of the Art of Boy Mini. Um, as I mentioned, PCB Way was the sponsor. They manufactured all this and really they did a great job. We have had almost no problems with uh, defects or anything else like that. Uh, they did the packaging, provided the sticker, and we did them in different colors and, and everything was organized really well. So this been really pleased with the process and they communicated really well through the whole way. And you can see that the quality of the boards are just, I've been really impressed. Um, on this specific board, the first thing you might notice is uh, the graffiti. So this is covered in graffiti that is the names of all the different uh, developers for Artiboy, the some of the key uh, contributors to the platform over the years. And so Mr. Blinky is the big one and he got a whole piece and these are all kind of like fonts available online. Um, and I kind of edit them a little bit to make them a little more personal, but that silk screen is just like, uh, exactly that it's, it's just ink that's placed on top of the circuit board. And so it allows you to be a little creative. This, this chip in the middle is the 32 U4. I guess if you flip it upside down, you might be able to read, uh, some of the text there. So this is the microcontroller. This is the brains of the operation. And it talks to this here, which is the uh, serial flash. This is where all the games are stored uh, for the Art of Boy FX. Um, this other chip down here, this is the battery charger. And it comes in through the USB-C. And if there's no battery, it'll just be powered directly from USB-C. Um, and if there is a battery, then it'll go ahead and charge it. Uh, this other little thing here is a... Uh, resonator so that provides the 16 megahertz signal to clock the processor uh, this one right here is the speaker so some people noticed that uh, maybe that it thought it didn't have a speaker originally we weren't going to have this but since enough people backed it and really wanted it oops sorry about that we added the speaker and then over here is the battery connector and it also has the programming pads so if you wanted to do uh, just wire the battery directly um on the top here is a i squared c or also known as a quick connector and so you can connect all sorts of different sensors and other doodads just like that and it actually is possible to do multiplayer use this as a link cable um, i have some demos on the community where i've shown a proof of concept still waiting to see somebody bust that out but yeah, and that's pretty much it for the backside besides just a bunch of little resistors and capacitors and good stuff like that. So the front, where all the magic happens, I suppose, or well, at least when you interface with the magic, you see the magic. This is the display. Uh, on top is the uh, reset button, sleep button. And then this is a RGB LED and of course the six touch button. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you the, you can go ahead and grab a battery. Uh, this is one that is commonly 
uh, made for the uh, SD's Proto X or the Hubsan Q4. You can buy these on Amazon. I have links to these on the community, but I'll be selling these again on the website. Um, I put some double-sided tape on there just so that I can easily attach it to the circuit board. But I'll just go ahead. You can also, if you've purchased a battery, you can confirm the polarity before you plug it in. Make sure that red is going to positive and black is going to negative. And we'll just get that guy plugged in there. I'll put on some tape. Yeah, and as soon as you plug in the battery, it'll it'll boot right up. And I push some buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and push reset again. So the button on top here, it's actually just the reset button for the microcontroller. Uh, but the custom bootloader, uh, written by uh, Venerable Mr. Blinky, uh, he made it so the bootloader recognizes the reset button um, while it's running, and if it's pressed, to put the microcontroller to sleep. And so actually, the, dis the microcontroller is still powered on, and so is the display, but they're both, the, both the controllers are set into sleep mode. And so this can actually uh, be in standby mode like this with this battery for a couple weeks. Um, so when you press it, it presses the reset button again, it wakes up, um, and you're able to navigate through the different categories. Uh, there's over 300 games on the Artiboy FX, or and the Artiboy Mini. Um, you can go online and there's over 400 games now available. And we have a variety of tools on the community for you to be able to flash that with uh, either a PC application or you can actually do it right over the web using web serial, so you use a Chrome-based browser uh, to uh, just plug in a USB-C and you can just you can just do it without having to install anything. Uh, so for example, if you wanted to switch games, you can just press the reset button again and go back to the main menu. Uh, from the main menu, you just press a button and it takes you right back to the previous game. Uh, if you want to switch to a different game, That's what's a good example. Oh, Art of Golf is a great game. And this is a game that actually supports the uh, FX memory. So the, the uh, maps are actually stored in the FX, uh, the external memory. Um, so yeah, uh, if you went ahead and you got the battery, um, then you can attach it like that. Like I mentioned, those are going to be back in the store soon. But also available was a optional uh, case, which is also uh, provided by PCBWay. So this is actually 3D printed. Um, this is SLA uh, resin printed. And then they uh, spray varnish it. And they do a little surface finish. I think they sand it just the tiniest little bit. And then they, um, they spray it. And, uh, you know, the result is, is, you know, compared, the visual result compared to polycarbonate is, I mean, it's not 100%. I mean, you can see that there's, you know, lines in the reflection and so on and so forth. But for prototyping, it is just out of this world. And what I'm most impressed on, impressed by, is the uh, scratch resistance, which isn't something that I expected. Um, it is a softer finish. But because of that, the scratches don't uh, resolve. They don't. You can't see them very easily. It's, it's a softer material, so you really have to like. So, anyways, been really impressed with that. So, uh, if you want to install the case, um, worked really hard. It was on my third revision to get this done, which is why it's taken a while to get these out. But you can just stick this in here, and it snaps together. There we go. And then that's the front side. And then once you have the front side, just take the back, match that up. And it's got like a little a lever to activate the reset button. There you go. And it's also got a hole right here. So if you've got a lanyard, uh, you can try to poke a lanyard through a little tiny hole while you're on camera. And see, here we go. And anybody who ordered a case 
through uh, as an add-on for the Kickstarter. Uh, we'll also receive a free lanyard. Um, color match not guaranteed. But yeah, so I just got the first batch of these. I ordered uh, about a dozen of these, and they're, most of those are already out the door. It's taken a while to ship them because I'm checking each and every one for quality and everything, but they've all looked great. So we're ready to order 100 more. Those will take a few weeks to get here, and then we'll ramp up and should have them out all by the end of the month. So if you're waiting on Ardboy Mini with the case, I hope to have that all finished by the end of April. And if you have any other questions, uh, if you can't wait that long, go ahead and let me know. Um, if you're seeing this on YouTube, you can use the Ardboy contact form at ardboy.com slash contact. Uh, if this is on Kickstarter, you can reach out to me on Kickstarter. And yeah, if you'd like to go ahead and order one of these, these are available in the store. You can go to ardboy.com and go ahead and place an order there. And the 3D prints and the batteries will also be available in the store very soon. So if you, they're not there when you're seeing this video, maybe check back a day or two later and those all should be available for you. Uh, the Ardaboy FX is also in stock and shipping. So you can check out both of these at ardaboy.com. And again, I want to thank PCB Way for their excellent product that they've helped produce for us here. Um, so if you have any um, circuit board assembly, uh, 3D printing needs, and they do a whole bunch more stuff than that. Uh, hope to look forward to try some of their CNC stuff soon. Um, check them out at pcbway.com. All right, thank you very much, and stay tuned for more.